y'all, it's Candy with Candy's Creations. Today we're gonna make this grapevine with a Easter basket in it, and we're gonna add some florals around it, a little bird nest. So we were walking through Michael's, Jennifer and I, and she said, oh, this would be so cute in a grapevine with it. So she kind of gave me the idea. She did give me the idea. So this is what we're gonna try. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I have kind of a vision in my head, but what she was saying sounded super beautiful. So we're gonna roll with that. Um, this is just a 24 inch oval grapevine, and this is an Easter basket from Michael's. And all I've done, okay, so also it is gonna kind of protrude a little bit on the back, but I put it on my door and I tested it and it still will be fine to um, sit on somebody's door. And after we build it out more, it'll all kind of flow better together. But all I've done is zip tie this into the middle and with uh, through the handle and then through the grapevine. So that's all I've done so far. I have this really cute, um bird nest from this is from hobby lobby i love it because it already has some cute little things in here eggs and florals and you know greenery on it so my thought process is i'm just gonna uh, put this in here we're gonna make a bow and then we're just gonna build around it i have this really cute bunny this came from walmart and i'm gonna try to put him in there somewhere too so and i just chose these really soft florals I'll tell you where they came from as we use them. And I'm just gonna build a bow, a big wow bow, and we're gonna try to decide first where we're gonna put that, and then we'll build the florals around that. So that is my thought process. <laughs> okay, so we are going to, let me put this little guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this in here. Maybe another glue stick. You can either glue the actual bird nest or um, I'm gonna do both. No really rhyme or reason. And I wanna put it to where my greenery is coming to this side because I did test my little rabbit and I thought about maybe right here. I did put a skewer in there. Look, and it just went through me. Let me go ahead and just glue this. It's foam. All these sizzle sizzle bunnies are foam. So they're really good, easy to skewer. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. And then we're gonna build a bow and I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna add my bow. And then I just kind of get, I have to get my focal points before I start building my florals is my thought process with this. Um, just dab some more glue down in here. All right, let's see here. Learning together, guys. So what I chose for my ribbons, I looked and they do have this in stock at Craft Outlet. It's just a four inch Swiss dot, burlap Swiss dot. I'm just going with soft colors. Um, this one came from Sims, but literally just look for any polka dot stripes, any floral ribbon that I went for soft pink. That's what I was looking for. Um, I got this as a soft pink. I believe it came from Craft Outlet. I've had it for a really long time. So I just walked over there and was pulling anything that kind of went together with burlap, soft pink, and all that. This is just a 1.5 burlap. This one came from Sims. But you can find all of these on anywhere you buy ribbon. This is a cream. So that's my thought process with all of it. So we're gonna make a bow real quick. Let's see what florals we're working with. This is Greenery Gal Greenery. It doesn't really say what it is. It's a G-N-B-R-N. I'll save the tag. But this is from Greenery Gal. I just love the wispiness and the flowiness of it. 
I wish I only have two, so I'm gonna try to make it go as far as I can because I really wanted to build it out here and I wanted to build a little bit around the top too. If you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions and i'll be happy to help you y'all have a good weekend see you later